Uh, the very first game we're playing tonight is called Let's Make a Date. This is a game for all four contestants. Uh, but it's going to feature Josie Lawrence and the other three. She's appearing on a dating programme and has to decide which of the other three she's going to go out with. Uh, but it's even harder than it would be anyway because they've each been given a strange character to play. And you have to work out who they are, first of all, uh, and then decide who to go out with. Yeah. And, um, well, that's about it. That's the rule of the game. Uh, where you go, Josie? Uh, right, um, first question, <laughs> number one. Yes? Um, if you won the lottery... I'm sorry, I'm just taking the heat something awful tonight. <laughs> I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> Can I ask my question, please, first? <laughs> yes, of course, my darling child. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, if you won the lottery... What would you do with the money as far as buying me something really special was concerned? Number one, I'm a sweating like a pig. <laughs> I, I'm perspiring like a porcine creature, darling. Well, first I'd take a long ride like I used to do with him. He was just a boy. Just a young boy. They should have never done what they did to him. <laughs> uh, number two. Yes. What would you buy me with your lottery winnings? What would I... You know, a deodorant would help. <laughs> um, I would buy you anything you wanted. There's a fire five miles from here. Uh, number three. Darling, in the green shirt. Mm. <laughs> what would you buy me with the lottery? <laughs> what would you buy me? Pretty. <laughs> Me put something inside you. All uh, right, on to the next question now. Um, <laughs> um, I love going out for meals. Uh, if you took me somewhere and you ordered the menu for me, what would be the starter and why? Number one. Well, uh, you're a pretty classy guy, right? I mean, you, know, you and me have had this date coming for a long time, baby. I'm gonna tell you that. Stella! <laughs> First, I don't know, you know, I'm taking you out just to get something, you know, nothing too fancy. I mean, I don't have a lot of money like those other fellas you right. used to or whatever back where you come from, because I don't have a lot of money here. I mean, we're just regular people, right? Okay, so... Yeah, okay? You just buy me a can of lager, then? Yeah, whatever, Stella. you know. Maybe slap you around and then have violent sex behind uh, the door. Okay. Number two, please. Number two in the nice orange. Yes. Favourite starter? Check the bottom of your shoe. <laughs> really, right now. It's covered in poo. Mm. <laughs> Number three. Uh, your favourite starter. Uh, your favourite starter. Mm, he touch bumpy things on chairs. <laughs> Okay, Josie. Well, I think, um, I think Greg Proops is different characters in a streetcar named Desire. Oh, well done, straight there. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Colin, Colin's got an incredible sense of smell. Fantastic, yeah. Um, I think, uh, Ryan, Ryan must be a Frankenstein's monster, yes, uh, like a, a put-together man. Yeah, a put-together uh, Frankenstein monster, and he's in a uh, kind of a, what sort of mood? A, a, a Randy Moon. A Randy Moon. Yeah. That's a straight <laughs> line. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, uh, well, I think, I think Greg Proops goes in the lead with some fine performances there. Uh, close for uh, Josie, for guessing it all. And uh, late news is she's going to go out with Ryan as the Frankenstein's monster uh, in the morning <laughs>